Don't receive in our newspaper. I just finished the second season last night. And it got fucking crazy. Because like, isn't it like end. it's like superheroes, but like everyday people? It's like... Or they act like everyday people? It's superheroes, but it's not what you would think at all. It's like they're fucking actually like mean. Like they're ass... Like almost villains, I would okay. almost say. Okay, yeah. Because like Homelander's like this guy where... He's you supposed see, to be like the Captain America kind of Essentially something like Superman yeah. or whatever you want to okay. fucking call it. But then he's like a big asshole. Like whenever there's not cameras around, he's always like the show has to be around him and like... I don't know. It's very weird. It's so gory, man. Like, yeah, I don't know how I, gory they fucking get it. That's what they say is good about it. Because yeah. it's like R-rated superhero. Oh, they have like, a, before it starts, they have like a bunch of disclaimers. Yeah. Like, they have like four or five different disclaimers. Wow. Like, this is pretty gory, pretty sexually graphic, and then blah, blah, whatever the rest of the shit is. But it's like, some of them are wild. Like, I don't know how they do such a good job of it. Because I don't see very many things that are like that now. Like, that have that good of CGI. Yeah, I can't remember. The only thing I can think of Transformers, obviously, holds up. Three hundred, yeah. <laughs> but that's kind of like also. Three hundred was like crazy CGI. I've never yeah. seen three hundred. Are really? you serious? I swear to God, it, dude, it was, it was it was amazing. They yeah. had like maybe fifty actors, and everything else was all CGI. Yeah. Really? It was amazing. Well, is this a movie? Dude, 300? Yeah. Yeah. Butler. Yeah, man. I, I swear can't believe you haven't seen 300. I, swear, I never oh, even dude. heard of this movie until you guys yeah. said it right now. Dude, it's Shut what up. made Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> yes, you have. It's, it's uh, what made it's Oh, what I've made seen the Gerald cover. Butler. I've seen the cover. Yes, I have. You've never seen 300, man. I've never seen it, though. I swear to God, I've never watched it. You know what? Now you said that. Have you ever seen Den of Thieves? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's yeah. a good fucking yeah, movie. That's Ice Cube. Yeah, Ice Cube's son's in it. Yeah, His son's in it, yeah. Yeah, like this guy, like is so CGI. It's crazy. Yeah, and like, dude, like Every all those people, crazy. all those people in the background, CGI. Fuck. They have one scene where they're riding. This dude's coming over to talk to this dude, okay? And he's like going over these hills, right? And just massive CGI and of it people. Looks, no, it's like you can see the fucking villages and the fucking town and the tower, everything. Like, it's Fuck. so fucking beautiful, and it was literally just all computer. Oh wow! I gotta give this a shot because this came out in, like 2008 or and something. Like, right? Yeah, like it. that's why people scream. This is look at this right to kick here. The shit out of people. Yeah, yeah. Really? right here is that, a yeah, wall that's of dead movie. people. This is a wall of dead people right here. This is smart. Yeah, that makes more sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah I swear to God, I've never seen it though. But yeah, yeah I, maybe I'll give this a shot. Fucking look at all the bodies. God damn. Yeah. <laughs> like that's right here is pretty much the cast right here for that side. Yeah, pretty much, right. Yeah. And then everything else is CGI. And you can't tell the difference, really. You can't. Right, right, like, right. It's really good. When they go in the clash, mm-hmm. it, it looks like there's like it is gory. It gets yeah. bad, yeah. Because, like, the, I don't know. I was going to say Game of Thrones, too, but... Like Game of Thrones is good, too, but... That's, that's the ending. What, what sucked about Game of Thrones was they took a huge break in, like, season five, and I completely lost interest in it. I really? I would go watch it again, but now it's old, and I really don't want to I just it. finished it. I just finished it, and he just finished it. He didn't really like it. Not I didn't mind it. it. Was it the ending that killed it, or was it... I liked... I can see... You know what? You made a good point last time about this movie where he said... He goes, it's kind of like while it was coming out, you would have liked it. Because yeah. it was like, next week, you're waiting for the next episode. Yeah. The next episode. I agree with yeah. that, what you said. Well, they did that with Breaking Bad, too. They took a huge break, right? And, right. I, and I lost track of it. Like, you got to keep going with something like right. that. Because I'm waiting for it every week to come out, or I'm waiting for it for a month and watch spamming it. Whatever. Right, 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 right. Right? Like, you can't just wait at two years to come out with the next episode. It's it like, sucks. Because that's yeah. what we're doing right now. Sansa with- Anarchy did it, right? Yeah. Like, yeah they Sunday just Anarchy. did the whole damn stuff. Ending sucked. But I get the why. You don't the like the ending. ending of it? I get it. You get it? Yeah. I get okay. it. All right. At least right? you got it. Yeah. Like, I understood why. You know, I'm coming, Dad. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But- yeah, yeah. He, it's actually funny. I got to say this. Yeah. So, Sons of Anarchy is my favorite show. Like, mm-hmm. it is. Like, in my room, I have everything Sons of Anarchy. Sutter I have all was the rings. amazing. He yeah, wrote I, that amazing. I love it. And so I got him to watch it, and he really liked it too. He goes, I don't want to watch the end because I know what happens. He got, <laughs> someone spoiled it for him. So he goes, I refuse to watch it. I haven't the watched the last episode. He won't watch no. it. I watched it all in a, in a row except the last episode. I'm like, Dude, I know what happens in the last episode. I'm yeah, he don't want to fucking. <laughs> I'm going to see what, what really sold it for me is when he killed his mom. I'm like, yeah, he's, yeah. he's dying. He's killing himself. When yeah, he had yeah. to do that scene was so crazy when yeah. he had to do that. When he's like, t- she's talking and she just knows. Yeah, like, yeah. Go ahead, babe. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. okay. I'm like, what the yeah. fuck? I'm like, this dude's not going to kill his mom. And then when he did it, and then I remember the first time I watched that show, I was at my grandma's house, and I fucking finished it. 
and I was so distraught. Yeah. I was like, dude, they fucking this guy for the entire time, by the way, of that show, he goes, I'm getting out of the club. Yes. But, you know what I mean? He, yes. The entire time he's like preaching, he's going to get out. I'm going to become a nomad. Mm. I'm done. Like, you know what I mean? And then at the end, of course, it's like, yeah, he got out of the club. Not the way I fucking wanted. Nah. Not the way I wanted at you know, all. No, but actually, like, there's like one episode, the episode where they killed Opie. Yeah. yeah. Right? I actually shed a tear for that. Cause, like, I shed a tear too. Oh, man, my God. So like, upset. for real. Because I'm like, dude, you can feel the the love he had for that dude right yeah when he watched well, him get dummied right when he off like when he hits the guard too yeah when he's talking to him and he goes okay it's one of you two or one of you four that got to go in there because tig and juice were there or something like that i yeah. forget who was all there or chips was there and fucking opie just hits the correctional officer and then fucking th- and jack's like because jack's gonna offer himself yeah the entire time he's like i'll offer yeah, myself yeah, yeah, you yeah, guys yeah, go yeah yeah fucking hits the correctional officer and he goes no like jack's knew right away he yeah. goes no yeah and he yeah. puts him in there and then the scene where he's on his knees and that guy just hits him in the fucking head with the baseball yeah. bat yeah. you're like and then his head just knocks back and then you see him fall and you're like fucking i hate this goddamn movie <laughs> yeah. this show, show i hate man. this fucking show yeah. especially when they had the patch after like uh in memory of opie or what whatever. happened to uh what's his face there tattooed head kid Boy. juice he ended up dying remember he he was a rat. Yeah, I he know he up, was a rat. So I I, I can't remember. He did, died. He died in the prison. So okay. he because I've rewatched this show so many times. Did bro. he like he off himself? Uh, he like he knew out? like he knew that he was gonna have to get like he knew he was gonna have to die because he yeah. rat himself out and he was in the prison. But him going to prison was hopefully like helping them solve some Wasn't shit whatever they had. Marilyn Manson took care of him or no? Cause, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they uh he's like. You can kill, you're like, I know you have to kill me or whatever. Yeah. He goes, let me just finish my cake. That's, and that's, yeah. and that's how he fucking dies. What the fuck is that? Hold on. Sorry. Dude, it's so bad today, man. I'm losing my mind. Technical difficulties. We're back. So, any, what was I saying? Juice. So he says, yeah. let me finish my cake. And then the guy, and then kill, like, slices his neck open, okay. dies. Yeah. But, like, you knew he was gonna, yeah. he won't, you ain't gonna make it. Like, yeah, I but mean, he, that's how, like, irrelevant his character was. I don't remember it. You know what I mean? So I, well, it's I been a long time too. They had they had to do it, so it was maybe you it wasn't that important. You, you know what I mean? You know, yeah, you know. Why did he rat again? He had a dumbass reason. To I rat. think he he I, was an undercover. Was he, he not? W- he was undercover, but the that the or undercover they had something had on his family yeah, because, or something because it was like, oh, your dad's black. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and, yeah, was, yeah. and then the whole, the whole crew was like, we don't give a fuck. Yeah, the whole crew. <laughs> yeah, because ja- Jax was like, he because. Ch- Juice told Chibs. Chibs was like, that's what you're worried about? And then <laughs> went to Jax, told Jax the situation. He was like, yeah, that may be a rule that we need to change in the club. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot yeah, that was yeah, even in there. Yeah, he, was like, he, he was like, that may be a rule that we have to change. But then, he, uh, he disclosed that after he ratted and they found out? Yeah, but he, he ratted, he ratted yeah, before so he was talking he to was, He had already ratted it like a bunch because they yeah, were holding yeah. that over his head yeah and then he kind of broke down and was like it was with that, i'm worried they're gonna was, find out it was with that chick cop wasn't it? yes it was yeah, yeah, and yeah. then they and uh didn't they went, kill her too opie kills her opie kills her yes hard style hard style hard style. Ties her to the car does he not he like, says he goes step in the car because they they she's just by herself on the interstate or some shit yeah, yeah. with unser with unser yeah and go and then that's opie, that old dude yeah yeah, yeah okay they, yeah, Jax had to kill that guy too. <laughs> no. I don't think he had to do that. Yeah, I don't think he really did, but he was like, "I'm gonna kill this guy." No, <laughs> no witnesses. But no, she she goes into the car. You know, she, he goes, "Put your hands on the steering wheel," and she's crying the entire time. He goes, yeah, yeah, I remember. Put that. your hands on the steering wheel. Is that what made him go to jail? No, no, I didn't was, even get caught for that. He didn't even get caught. No one for that. even got no, caught no. for that. It was because it was for his wife, right? Because his wife died. Like his that. his. Tig killed his wife, but he didn't meet like that was off information. Yeah, that was accidental. Yeah, that yeah. wasn't like because they were gonna kill Opie because they thought Opie was ratting in the yeah. first right. season. That yeah, was yeah. like the whole thing was kill Opie in the truck, but the whole thing was Opie decide like, oh, I'll t- I'll bring the kids home and take them to bed. Yeah, you take this whatever shit. Yeah, something got switched. Some, switch. Yeah, so she, they were like, the oh, he'll car. be in the truck. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Said, Opie will be in the truck, and then when Tig shot, he just shot through. He didn't see that Opie was there, and he realized that oh fuck, I just yeah. killed the fucking wife. Yeah. God. Damn it. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. he felt bad about that for a while. But like, listen, Tig the entire time was loyal. He was the entire time, even when Jax made him thought he was gonna kill oh, him. Fuck, dude! You know, like, what right I mean? up to the end, yeah, like, yeah. right up to the like, end. Like, didn't bro. tell him at but all. That motherfucker's sick. Yeah, 
Yeah, he's yeah, a yeah. sick son of a bitch. Like, yeah, yeah. He, oh yeah, no, he was into some fucking wild shit. Oh my god, <laughs> but like, to each their own, man. To each their like, own. But chicks yeah. in the hole, like, oh my god, yeah. the comments he would say. My <laughs> guy was the guy with the scar. What Chips. Was, yeah, that's actually. You know, he yeah, actually got real. smiled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He actually Same got thing smiled. with Katie's scar. Yeah, where that's real too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Sutter wrote it all in. Yeah, in yeah. The script. Yeah, and it, cool. I forget who was the guy that played. Oh, Happy! Happy's actually a Hell's Angel. You remember he's Happy, the, the bald was, guy? He had the so, when yeah, he lifted yeah, up his yeah. shirt, he had all smiley faces yeah. on his ribs. Yeah, that yeah, guy's yeah. actually a Hell's Angel. He wrote a yeah. book. It's it was, it, I think his book is called like Becoming a Son, and that was like because that was his like first acting role, and they're like, we need this dude to help us out because yeah. remember that dude near the end too, where he has like the voice box where he's like he's. Uh, Sunny. Sunny. Yeah. yeah, yeah Sunny's yeah. actually the oh a yeah. founding member of the Hell's Angels. Holy yeah, yeah. Shit. So yeah, that dude yeah, yeah, was in yeah. there and he was like talk, like it was so cool. Yeah, that he's got a like a if you, you can find him on YouTube, he does it. It's he's got a huge fucking series. They made a series. They made a like, series about him, yeah. Like a three hour like interview. Right, you right. You can right. watch it on YouTube. Right. There's all like right? it's, I mean those shows and, are fucking uh, sick. I'm sure there's uh, there's a few of them most likely. That, that do that? Yeah. That talk about well, there's it. even like those guys that do... Because uh, somehow they get out. You yeah. know, they serve their well, time, they get they out. They serve their time. Like Sa- Sammy the he's Bull. A, he's disclosing... I don't know if he's disclosing top secret secrets, but, you know, not stuff the average I Joe th- talks about. I think it's like just average stuff that everyone knows. Because like, you know, t- Hunter S. Thompson wrote all those books. Like he... Hunter S. Thompson was an author that fucking... Or, yeah, he was an author writer that fucking was like hanging out with the Hells Angels. Yeah. I read the... The, the book was called something like that. It was like Hell's Angels, something with the Hunter S. Thompson. But he goes through like, okay, I traveled them for uh, like six, seven months. This is what we did. And he goes, every time I got my life threatened. <laughs> Almost every single fucking day I got my life well, threatened about the shit that they were talking about. There's also, there's also a YouTube and there's a book too he wrote. is a FBI agent or CIA agent that got actually like second in command in the Hell's Angels. And he wrote a book about it. Like he's like the black black mask guy when he's talking. Yeah, yeah. In the distorted voice. Damn, that's how dangerous he is, or well, in danger. Well, he all is. those guys have to, right? Uh, it's yeah. like, have you ever seen the documentary Get Gotti? No. About John Gotti, I don't know if you're no. in the mobs or shit, but I no. I, I, I watch it and it's very interesting. So, th- his cousin, uh, William, Son- I forget his cousin's name exactly. I'm gonna butcher it. I don't want to say it, but like. He so he ends up being an FBI informant for like years, I guess years for them. Right. Well, the uh, as they're trying Gotti, because like at this point he's getting off. Like he's got he's been the trial so many times he's just getting off, getting off. Like mm-hmm. they can't nail him for anything specific. So they're like, okay, we're gonna in, like you know give up our informant, and they give up him while he's in the courtroom with Gotti. So it's him, another guy, and Gotti all sitting together. As he, they're saying, so and so has been an informant. Like they're pointing at him, has been an informant for the last fifteen years. Blah blah blah. And right away he looks at wow. Gotti. Don't believe him. Don't, in in court. Don't believe him. They're fucking lying, lying. Gotti gets founded not guilty. Okay, <laughs> gets founded not guilty. Two weeks later, that dude is killed in front of his home. And when they go ask Gotti about it, like, how do you feel about you know so and so dying or whatever, he goes. It's a damn shame. We all got to go sometime. <laughs> I'm like, holy yeah. fuck, Damn shame, bro. man. Damn yeah. shame. How it goes sometimes. It's just how it goes. Yeah. But it's like, holy fuck. It's like, because like, you're talking about those guys that all make YouTube videos and they're talking about that shit. Yeah. It's like Sammy the Bull. Like, Sammy the Bull was the fucking right-hand man to John Gotti. Okay. That dude gave up so many people. He gave up his children and fucking he's out making shit. I think his children he gave up his, his children. He, to, he ratted on his children. I, he, I think he ratted on his da- daughter and son. For if doing what? What they do? Can you, Rain, can you search that up for me? If Sammy the Bull ratted out his son, what were da- his daughter and son doing? Laundering money or something? Uh, They're probably laundering money or something. Not give him any. Is oh, that why? Well, they were probably. I don't know. I don't. Like if they were trying to keep it all, then maybe they. You know. Is this <sighs> Rob uh, murdered Rat. several members and associates? Yeah. Okay, maybe I'm... I just wanted to see if, like, they ratted... He oh. ra- Dude, you want to know some bad gangsters is UK gangsters. Yeah, Every they do. UK, any YouTube, like, UK gang fights? Yeah. Badass. Fucking like, swords. Swords. And just bare knuckle <laughs> bullshit. Yeah, bare no knuckle. guns, really. No guns. Maybe a knife, maybe a stick. But mostly just beating each other with bare fists. 
So what's this? Like say? the India and China border. He was facing <laughs> charges for 19 murders as well. The charges that relate to the RICO indictment under which he was uh, being tried. Uh, bah, 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 when to be a tough guy. In fact, wealthy will enjoy a very privileged existence. He was a multi-million construction company mm-hmm. owner. Oh uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, well, that's what they all did. they all just made jobs that didn't exist. <laughs> yeah. Dude, my my job, dude, is like. Maybe like I'm wrong about that. Maybe I want to take that back. Maybe I, I'm my job's wrong. number three in the mob thing, man. Yeah, the, it was because uh, fucking uh, Sopranos. Yeah, bro. Tony Soprano. Yeah, man. Man. that was fucking the whole. But if you actually research it, it's like one of the top three jobs that mobs ran. Yeah, easy to either run money, clean money, whatever the hell it is. Launder Constru- money. Was yeah. it construction and what was construction the other one? and that? Well. And funeral homes, I think. Is funeral, bro. Funeral homes are actually and prob- probably dumps. I'm thinking too. We probably be like yards and shit. Yeah, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. That and makes shipping sense. yards probably would they would yeah. have a hand in that for sure. Yeah, like, there's a few things that are top ten at least. Like, cause funeral, like you were you were just talking about funeral homes, dude. You know how you, make, you know how much money fucking funeral home directors make? Well, not even that. that. You got the incinerator right there too. You mm. need to let somebody go. You know, but it's a better thing to do than. Why are these bodies here? <laughs> what? Officer, this is a funeral home. Yeah. <laughs> We're yeah, also supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, the, How many Jane Doe's and John Doe's do you got here? Yeah. About and 19. <laughs> and it's like, because even with the cremation, it's like they get you with like, you got to pay for the urn and you got to pay. Like, they still got to put that shit in you so you don't like. I thought they just burn you, right? Like that's what I assumed. But no, they no, still they drain ch- you and everything. They gotta yeah, drain yeah. you still, and then they burn you. I thought they always just all right, toss them in. Toss like, them that's in. what I thought. I always thought that, but yeah. I'm a fucking like because that's a, like, hey, what do you mean? You want your dad? You want your dad to be buried, right? Don't you get this ten thousand dollar coffin? I don't know how much coffins cost, but yeah, no, like, you mean, can't bring one from home. Yeah. No, <laughs> literally, they're like five G's on Costco. You can look, yeah. you look. Are they? Are yeah. they like five grand on Costco? Uh, maybe. maybe. I could be overstating, but with today's I'll prices and shipping with carbon tax. Yeah, it's probably find old wood in the back. You take it off your fence. Just rebuild. Make one out of pallets and a yeah. sheet. You're just good. throw like as it one's going down. Just throw me in. Like, yeah. you know what I, mean? <laughs> I don't need my own plaque. Actually, I, almost I, fo- the grave. I follow a guy on t- TikTok that actually does like burials. He shows you step by step, except for obviously, actual, yeah. yeah. So like, there's like a concrete tomb that you got to get, right? Put it in there, and they do that for one for smell, two for critters, and air. Keep air out, and then they lock it. With a, a top, so when you actually, if you were to actually try to actually grave, back in the day was grave robbers. They would go and dig up the bodies right, and right. pop open the co- coffin. So they put them in the cement tomb, right? So you can't lift this thing. They use a tractor to drop it down. Right, right. So, but uh, yeah. So that guy, he shows you step by step. It's actually a pretty cool process. Yeah. Like when you actually take the dirt away, it's. The sarcophagus is actually not the coffin. Right, right, Everybody right. thinks it's the coffin. It's not the coffin. Damn. It's, usually there's like a frame and there's usually pictures and stuff in it. Right. Like family members right. and stuff or roses, whatever. Or you hear some people that want to be buried with their money. You always hear that too. Some people are like, bury me with my money. Bury me in my role. Yeah, you're not, not going to spend How it. How dare you tell me you can't take, I can't yeah. take it with me. Yeah. I'm like, well, you like, you really can't take it with you. I <laughs> earned it. Yeah, you know what I mean? So that's why I always find it so weird when you hear people like that. They're like, I want my fucking Rolex in there with me. <laughs> like, all right, yeah. brother. Okay. I guess. But like, it's, it's no use down there. Yeah. Like. It's no use down there. No, but, like, it's not. But what a fucking. Because I always, like, I always found the weird, like my, my no-no got put in a. You know, like the wall, yeah. it's like the wall one, like, I don't yeah, know what yeah. it's called. It's called something. I'm fucking it up. But like, I always thought that was, I'm like, man, so this whole room is just filled. Wall, the, like fucking floor to ceiling. Yeah. Just dead bodies. Yeah. And then I like how my known was like, I got to get put in front. Cause like you can fit two. And my known was like, I'm definitely going in front. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like put them into the back. <laughs> Again, I'll go in front. I'm in front for but sure. It's fucking, I don't know. I find that shit so wild. Cause I'm like, have you ever seen like, oh, what was that one we used to talk about? The vultures? Where they just chop you up and feed you to the fucking vultures, That's man. That's not how it works. Zoroastrianism, they just lay your, they cover your body in honey and just leave you out for, like... No, there's a, the vulture one where they cut you up in chunks. What? Why can't I think of that? No? And this is, like, human civilization? No, they, like, they still do this. Rain, can you where? search... Uh, I want to say it's someplace in Asia, I want to uh, say. Of course. Can like, you just search up... Um, vault... Yeah, vulture funeral ceremony. Let's just see that. Let's see what comes up. So, well, Zoroastrianism is they take your body, they lather you up in honey, and they place you in like a grove, and they let like vultures and insects like 
consume, consume your, your body. body. Or they put you in a tree. Yeah. Uh, sky barrier. This is what this is Oh, yeah. On. That's what I'm talking about. So I uh, believe that uh, comes and eats body. It means that the dead has no sin and that uh, his or her soul has gone peacefully to the paradise. Okay, so if you do have sin, you just sit there and rot and they won't eat you? I or? guess. But I guess, I, I guess like that this is so common there that as soon as it's chopped up and they toss it, it's like they're all over it. Like all over well, like the Well, yeah, because they're fucking things. Yeah. They're hungry. Well, they're, now they're used to it. Like, they're, yeah, they're like feeding time. Yeah. But it's like, I don't like, you know, you ever also hear like people just die, that dying re- in a tree. I don't think that's crazy. I don't think that's crazy. You know, just let nature take you. I well, just, yeah. Well, it's like they, they just can bury you in a, like a, a, basically a cocoon right. of tree seeds. And then the tree grows and uses your body as fertilizer. That's dope. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Just it's... bury me, though. Just bury me and put flowers on me. That's, that's it. it? That's all yeah. you want? Fuck it. Don't do nothing. Just let the animals, if they want to eat me, fuck it, whatever. But I mean, let me, put me in the ground at least. It's Because we, we bury everyone. Like, since human civilization has been recorded, we do know that they did bury people, right? Mm-hmm. Like, it's just such a common even thing. Even before where, humans. They even before people. humans, yeah. There's a few cemeteries in Windsor that they can't actually put bodies in anymore. Yeah, because it's full. Because it's full. Is that yeah, what you mean? Like, yeah. If you're on the west end over by the old jail, yeah, right. Yeah. That one there, my my wife, she her dad used to be a ter- take caretaker. Yes, yeah. thank you. And uh, literally, I would say there's probably coffin over coffin. I think. You think so? Oh, that, yeah. that, that, it's it's it's, an, it's probably the oldest. I mean, that probably has to happen at some point, right? Like, what happens when you run out of so much ground? You know, there's a spot in Alaska where they can't bury bodies because the ground, like, just it's too hard. It's too hard. Yeah, uh, like they yeah. never they never decompose. But then eventually it warmed Encino up. Encino man, Encino man. So it, it warmed up, and all these bodies that died from uh, like influenza, like I'm a, pretty sure they plague. found mammoth blood up there. In Alaska? Yeah, like yeah. some form of DNA of the mammoth. Probably. Like, they say they could probably clone one. I'm I not, think they... I'm not for they sure like for that, flesh. but I'm pretty sure they I, found, like... I thought I read something that they impregnated an elephant with, like, a mammoth yeah. thing. Something like that, yeah. yeah. And, like, what, how much, like, fucking... I think elephants are pregnant for, like, two years but or something. But think about like it. Like, if, say, say the ice is breaking up up there. What do you think you could fucking find over the top? Probably a lot of diseases, to be honest. Uh, Just yeah. diseases, man. Yeah. Like, they always say that, too. They're like, we found a 500,000... Your old fucking disease, Mosquito. and you're like, yo, keep don't fucking defrost okay, it. Okay, well, leave it. Yeah, leave <laughs> it. <laughs> like, yeah, like, don't be defrosting that shit. Like, that's why, like, Jurassic Park's a good movie, but that shit's coming for real. Like, that if shit, they find that stuff, dude. That stuff is terrifying. Like, don't be fucking pulling shit out of that. No, don't be put doing that shit. I'm no, good because you know what? Like, they've done like lambs and stuff. They've cloned lambs and animals, and it's successful. We'll see. Imagine Who's stopping them from trying back? something bigger? <laughs> Imagine getting a mammoth back in here. We don't need it, though. I don't think so. Where probably are we not? Gonna, probably. Where are we <laughs> gonna, <laughs> you know, you're probably definitely right. We probably, where are we keeping that? No. But we do need, like, we do need a particular type of species. Like, more wolves would be nice. You know? Wolves? The wolves in Canada are depleting. They're are slowly they? coming back, but they're depleting. The gray wolves, they're slowly depleting because they're, like, they're finding out that wolves... Are very very stressed, right? Probably very, it's very a hard stressed, life, right? So and they're stop they're stop mating. They're not mating as much because they're so full of anxiety, right? So and they're starting to deplete. They used, they were growing, especially in the United States and the Yellowstone and stuff. The mm-hmm. wolves out there, they were really coming back, keeping the deer and elk and all those type of animals in check, right? Yeah. But it's starting to drop down now because they're so full of anxiety. We they have no idea why they are because they're like. A pack type of mentality right right so you think you would have the comfort from your buddies to come and help you but they're they're always checking out same thing with uh cheetahs cheetahs cheetahs, cheetahs are super high anxiety because they're actually the middle fray of the big cats mm-hmm. or even on the lower smaller they are cats, kind of small man right? they're not that big so they're actually prey as well like yeah. lions and shit will take them out. Leopards will take them out. Panthers will take them out. So when they're eating, they're like straight up tripping. Yeah, yeah. Right? It's like so. when you see lions too. Like if lions take down something and they're eating something, like say it's just one lone lion. If yeah. like those wild dogs come, they will not challenge the wild dog. But if the wild dog is challenging like a pack of fucking lions, then that wild dog's fucked. Yeah. Well, you know what's funny is like I've seen 
who, what was it? A giraffe. I was watching a YouTube video, and a giraffe killed a lion with one kick. <laughs> one kick. These fucking things are massive. Yeah. But they like, uh, and what was the other? Bisons are big. Yeah, too? What, like wildebeest. Yeah, like those fucking things. Those I, things. I watched one kick a lion in the jaw, and then yeah. later on, they had to say that that lion ended up dying because its fucking jaw yeah. has got like they can't chew nothing anymore. Yeah, and you know what's funny is like I watched a bunch of YouTube videos where people yelling at people. There was literally a, a big cat trying to get like an elk in the middle of the road. Yeah. And they're like, no, shoot, shoot, shoot. People are like, leave it the fuck alone. It's nature's course. It's supposed to die right now. <laughs> on the fucking, on the <laughs> on road. On the middle of the highway. Kid, yeah. People are like, my kids are here. They're like, welcome to life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, like, this is it. Yeah, <laughs> like, this is it. Yeah, like when we watch, my wife and I watch nature shows all the time. Like every new one that comes out, they got some pretty cool fucking shit coming out. Like, yeah. They got this one that I'm watching. Or actually, I think I watched it, but I got to rewatch it. But they ultrasound and x-rayed the earth right to show okay. like underneath like yeah. the volcano caverns and all that stuff it looks like a fucking manhill yeah like how we actually sustain what we have on the surface of this planet mm -hmm. if you see what it looks like underneath you'd be like what the fuck how yeah. is this working it's literally like spider webs and like pods because everything's like too perfect you know what i mean like i'm like i like i sit and i talk with with, with her dad in the truck sometimes on the way back to transfer or back to the shop. I'm like, you know what I'm funny? When we take out 500 tons of dirt and then put cement right there, is that not like doing anything to the earth? Nah. You know what I mean? You know, like, think, so? no. think nah. about how much weight they're putting on that. Earth's strong, man. You know what I mean? Like, I know that. But, I mean, the, the things that we do to this they, planet. They also just drop on you, too. Like, the yeah. fucking Yellowstone volcano. They're like, if yeah. that thing just erupts, we're fucked. We're dead. Like, they oh, constantly yeah, yeah. just drop. And they're like, and we're like, really? Like, when's it going to do? I'm and like, it's we, been a while. And we've it's had overdue. Some, we've had some pretty nasty worldwide volcano eruptions, like Pompeii and all that shit that literally wiped out a complete island. And have we learned from it? No, we're still going and living in those areas. Yeah. Like Hawaii is not not just an active volcano or That's somewhere right, near it. Right to pop off. Like in Florida, Hurricane Central. Yeah, let's go live there. Come on. It's like or tornado, <sighs> tornado, or tornado alley. Yeah, yeah. You know, it, it's literally documented that they have hundreds of tornadoes ripped through that section. Oh, let's go live there. Yeah. I, I guess you do. it's just a luck of the draw, really, where you're born, right? Like, like have you, you not seen the movie Twister? Like, yeah, great movie. It Holds is. up. It does. <laughs> They're Holds. making a new one. They right? are making that new one where the guy's like chasing them and shit like that. Like, it's the same thing essentially, because it looks like the exact same. Just probably a different. Like just a newer version of it. Yeah. So what they they're gonna take? Oh, this is based off of the original. Probably the original Twister, but it's like yeah. this one's more aggressive. Gonna, I don't know, <laughs> something like that. Like, this Twister's way more aggressive than the last one. You know what sucked about that movie, man, is I felt bad about May or not May or the the mom. Where? Is that your thing going off? Oh, <laughs> sorry, the May. You said May. The mom. Oh, why can't I remember this? The movie? one that the one that they went to their house and they all ate. Oh yes, I knew right? what you're talking and then, about. Like, yeah, yeah, they yeah. left, and then they fucking she got hit by a tornado. Yeah, right felt, after they yeah, left. Yeah, I felt so bad for that man. She's such a kind lady. Yeah, I'm like come Feed on, Mother Nature. And then you're fucking, you just get rained. Yeah, Mother Nature's by. like fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how she goes. Yeah, the, is uh. So would you say like about being a garbage man? Would you say like what's the worst thing? The weather? What would you say the worst thing is? Ah, uh, yeah. For mental, it would be the weather. Weather. Yeah, mental for the weather. Because you're always out, right? Because it doesn't matter. Does, like... Yeah, I mean, I mean, like, luckily, I'm. I got a good guy that understands. He's done it for a while, so yeah. you know, it's kind of redundant to stay out there in ridiculous rain downpour because it's just asking for a hurting. Yeah. So he'll be like, "Okay, get in here," because I'll just keep going. I'm yeah. Stupid. I'm in a. I'm in a motion. I'm like, I'm fucking wet. Let's just keep going. But it is kind of dangerous. So he pulls me in. So Pulls that's it. pretty much like, cause like the hardest part about like even snow, you can bundle up. Yeah, right, right. You right, know right, what right. I mean? Like, and by that time, like when you guys are out there wearing your winter coats and toques and muck and gloves and shit, I'm in a t-shirt, you know, minus 10 degrees outside. I'm in a t-shirt. Well, stupidest, stupidest thing to do. Right. But I'm so hot. Yeah. You yeah. know, it's like a hockey player. You know what I mean? You're in a rink, but you're sweating like a pig. 
Well, because you're moving, right? You're just right. fucking tossing so them in. In the, in the summertime, it's mostly the heat. If you can handle being like completely wet and disgusting, you know, like it's, think of being a hockey player when you take all your pads off. Mm-hmm. That's what you're like all day. Right. Just saturated. Would right? you rather Would you rather work in the hot or cold? Probably cold. Cold, I'd take yeah, cold, cold all day, cold. man. Yeah, mm-hmm. probably. I agree. No, I agree. Cold. <laughs> I yeah, cold's all right winter, because, man. like I said, you can put more clothes on, right? Mm-hmm. In summer, you can only take so much safely off. You yeah, know what I mean? yeah, So, yeah. and but when people are running around from the rain, I'm laughing at them because I'm like, yes, give me some more. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, eventually the point of no return. Like, well, well, fuck it, I'm wet. My shoes are wet. My pants are wet. Everything's wet. Everything. You just deal with it. Right. And you just go. You know, hopefully you are smart enough to bring a change of clothes with you. Yeah. Usually I bring a shirt because the pants dry usually. I can handle wet wet pants. The shirt, clingy. Yeah, no, I get it. Man. it. I bring I bring two shirts to work all the time. Yeah. In case one gets fucked up yeah. or I sweat through it. Because I work next to an oven, but... That just fucking sucks. Three Power pairs coating. of socks. Man. Three pairs of socks. Three yeah. pairs of socks. Because he works right. construction. Cons- like he's outside. Yeah, working. like I, uh, I, I'm old school, so I'll use the old milk bags. They gotcha. still work. Yeah. They still work good. Milk you bags know? for. Uh, I wear them inside my boots. Mm-hmm. Oh really? They're, yeah. The it's like old, a layer for yeah. Yeah, it's it doesn't really do much, but for the first half of the day, you're all right. Yeah, yeah, and then your foot just starts sweating like a pig yeah. because. It's, oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, you know I got I mean? what you're like, yeah, It's yeah. just to keep my foot dry for the most of the day, right? Because working with soaking wet feet all day is just disgusting. Yeah, dude. Like if it rains and I step at a puddle that's a little too deep, right? Yeah. And I know that I now have to sit with a wet foot yeah. for ten hours. Yeah, that just kills the mood. <laughs> like it, like start, like <laughs> it's fine, but then. You feel, you yeah. literally feel the been in the water too long syndrome on your foot. Yeah, yeah you I literally feel it happening. Mm-hmm. And then you got to keep rubbing it. So, like, no, that sucks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, no, that's yeah. And that's why I bring three pairs of socks to work. Yeah. yeah just in case. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like, I've been, since doing this job, I've never had a real use for a serious callus remover. But I fucking got a cheese grater for a callus remover. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh yeah. Like, I just got, from li- what lifting just the garbage pails? No, just it? my feet. Oh, like, your, oh, your my feet. feet. Oh, okay. Like, okay. literally, it's a marathon, up and down, up and down, down, walking up and down, up and down. Like, I literally get possible free rides, which is like I got to run over to a section and I can't stay out of the truck. I have to be in the cab. Right. <clears throat> or runs to the to the, back to transfer and back to map. Right. I'm usually in the cab, but. Most of the time, I'm out, so I'm moving till mm-hmm. break time, transfer time, break time, home time. Right. Pretty much, I'm out, outside of the truck. So, my feet take a beating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like... Anything for the shoot, like, boot what? Like, other than that, but, like, Dr. Scholl's or something like that? Anything? Well, uh, well, the company supplies boots for you. So, right, right, right. So, you get boots, and with that, if you do it right, you can get a pair of insoles with it. Right. So, usually you get the top notch. We get, I don't know, my $35 ones. Yeah. They're the ones that, like, with heat, form to your feet. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah, I see what so, you're talking about. Yeah, so, or you can get the foamy ones. I usually get the ones that are, you put them in your boot before you use them. Right. To get the shape. Mm-hmm. And then you throw them in an oven or something, and it hardens it that way right that's how they do and the hockey I, skates and, and then <laughs> i keep and then i keep the original insole in it and use that because it's not as it's not as like thick right as the foam one right, right it's right. just meant to form to your foot mm-hmm. so yeah you know what helps two pairs of socks at the same time if you're wearing two pairs of socks actually like i find cushion. just a nice good pair of light wool socks oh, like yeah. pair of white wool, wool socks, socks. Man. yeah yeah, not like the old school fucking red ring ones. Yeah. Right? <laughs> like the new Terra boot ones. Right. You know, like I usually get them off Amazon. You get six pairs or mm-hmm. fucking three pairs for 15 bucks. I wear the shit out of them. Oh, they're so like, nice in the wintertime too, dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And like now that the companies are coming out with, you know, uh, non-steel toe boots, that helps too because fiberglass doesn't get as cold. Right. You can, it will stay warm from your own body heat. Steel, it just, once it gets cold, that's cold. cold. Yeah. yeah. Cold. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. Too. And yeah. then if you wear the wrong sock, like especially in the wintertime, you wear a cotton sock and you got sweaty feet, mm-hmm. frozen feet, man. I used to, I used to do roofing, man. Sometimes you're out there in March when it's still snowing. I wore the wrong socks. <laughs> Walking around in the snow all day. Mm-mm. No. Wrong choice. Yeah. Wrong choice. Oh, man. I had, 
on the way home, I had my foot underneath the dashboard. And I go, yeah, come on, boys. <laughs> they're like, dude, put your shoes on, man. I'm like, fuck you. My shoes and my fucking feet are fucking Killing. cold, you man. Go, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? Uh, uh, explain to me, like, a uh, walk us through, like, a f- your first day as a garbage man. What's the first day look like? Like, first day, never done it before type like, of shit? Yeah, yeah. Like, you walk, so like, like, my greenhorn day? Sure. So if I that's started, what that is. Yeah. I, st- <laughs> I started in uh, yard waste. So, okay. Yeah, that's the what what I would say. It's like if you can handle doing yard waste, then you're not a bitch. Okay. Right, because yard waste is it's pretty. Is that how everyone starts? Is yard pretty waste? much okay. right? Like that's how our company does their hiring process, right? If you're good enough, they'll hire you on. Right. Right. Uh, driver wise and thrower wise, you know. Uh, sometimes we need more than the other and sometimes you know vice versa but yeah so that's how they do their hiring process so if you can handle doing yard waste then sometimes they'll get thrown in recycle Mm -hmm. if you if you do all right in recycle then you get thrown into garbage if you're in the garbage and you do really well in garbage that's where they like to keep you because garbage is top commodity right right? so that's we have 14 trucks out on the city four days a week right okay so you started there Okay. Yeah. What about what? What was the process to getting to like the truck, like you now in the truck, or uh, you know on look, the truck? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah, yeah doing yeah. what I'm doing. Yes. Now, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, like, you well, just that- gotta you just gotta bust your ass. That's pretty much it. Like, right. understand that you're on a moving vehicle. Be smart, common sense, and just know that you have to work hard. That's it. Literally, I, that's it. So, is that what you had to do in wa- in waste in waste management first? Well. Yard waste, sorry, I said waste management. Fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Figure it I'm out. Like, duh, 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 duh. Yeah. Um, but no, uh, in yard, yeah, so that's pretty much what you do. You just get on a truck and you go. You learn pretty much on the way. On the way. You, 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 hopefully, you got somebody who's willing to show you the ropes in right. the parking lot. Then you just go. Yard waste is the easiest way to run a truck. Right. You can, you can open it right up, fill it up. And close it up do everything you can do that all day and nothing falls out if right you do it smartly if you do it right yeah. right if you do it in garbage and recycles shit falls out yeah if you don't do it right right so so yeah so i just did that and then i started uh doing it in recycle and starting to get pretty much my performance is what was speaking we yeah. were getting maps done that people weren't getting done and then uh i just got into garbage Got floated around for a little while, and then all of a sudden I worked with her dad once, and then all of a sudden I was his thrower. Right. And that's how it's been. And that's how, and you just like being the thrower? Just like... No, I have no interest. I have no interest in being a driver. Yeah. They Why even, not? They... Well, I don't have a license to begin with. Well, yeah, but like, right. if you if you did fuck, have your license... No, fuck that. The shit that these guys have to deal with on a regular basis, like... Well, take us through what a driver you think has to deal with a little bit. Well, they're, they're completely responsible for the motion of that truck. Okay. Right? So, completely responsible. Uh, and for the for the map. So, as a thrower, it's probably wise for me to understand how they run a map. Mm-hmm. But, because of my driver, it's kind of hard to do that. Because he doesn't do everything the same every, every week. <laughs> Changes it up all the time. Just, which is great. Yeah. In my head, it's great because... As me, I don't want to get bored. Yeah. Right. Right. Like my Thursday map is a board map. I do uh, Jefferson from Tecumseh down to the tracks, all the way to Paulette, and then from Paulette down to Malloy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right? And then all that in between. Right. Westminster, Ford, Buckingham, Ferndale, Glendale, all that. I do all that stuff. Right. So uh, that's the boringest map. Because that, it's that is just a... straight up and down, yeah. straight up and down, straight up and down. That's it. And there's no variation. You got to go right or left one, once or twice, right or left once or twice, and then it's just straight up and down, down up, up and, and up down. and down, up and down. <laughs> yeah. Oh my lord. It's a, it's that's it's a hard. No it's one likes doing that one. Repetitive, like just it's the repetitiveness in it. Yeah, it's just because it's right. There's no variations. Sometimes like it's nice to do a cul-de-sac. Right. Is it just okay in and out wang? You know, for me anyways, because mm-hmm. like I said, I have to mentally mind fuck myself a lot because you get bored out there. You can only listen to Spotify so much. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? And then you got to like, okay, you know, next pick, next pick, next pick, next pick, next pick. And then you just forget about it and just keep going. Yeah, you just, you get, you get like, spurts. Right. It mm-hmm. spurts like, like for me, not, 
car side is where I just take my time. Right. So I got to go further to grab things. You can't dip the truck, you know, get me closer. When it's non-car side, it's haul ass. Get that side done. Let's go to the next one. Right, right, right. Right. right? So, and having a driver that understands how you do stuff. So like, it ultimately depends too on who you're working with that day. That makes the day a little bit better. Oh, absolutely. Like there's some people that, you know, love to be on their phone a lot. Just got like call, yeah. calling and like, you know, just not doing the, maybe no. not getting the map. Like, is there ever like, cause you're talking about these maps, right? And obviously your day varies from how long your map is. I'm assuming what I'm well, getting yeah, from like, this and how long you're on it. So is there like a time where maybe, you, you know, like me, I don't know. I'm not trying to obviously don't rat anyone out, but no. I'm saying like you get partnered up with someone. You're like, fuck, I know I'm, it's going to be a long day. Like, oh, no, that's not writing anybody. Oh, that's that's yeah. uh, that's anywhere. Oh, okay. That's, well, that's pretty much anywhere. <laughs> that's Every, anywhere. Any job good. you work, there's yeah, always going to be like, yeah. fuck, man. I don't yeah, want to do like, this today. Yeah, like, fuck. But the thing that sucks is when, you know, you know you're doing that. And you just try to put it out of your head, and it just won't work. Right. You know, he's like, fuck, this guy's just fucking... And you're just like, all right. I got to try to make it fun. So right. when I'm working with somebody that I don't really like to... Uh, I usually like a fucking ukulele. I'll take it out. Yo, ukulele you know? there? Yeah. No, nice. no. Like if I see one drop out of the garbage oh, or something, yeah. I'll like, do or I'll find like a goofy hat or something. If yeah. it's clean, I'll fucking drop it on my hat. Yeah. And I'll take a quick picture or I'll turn a ring camera on. Right. Yeah. There's been a few times where I've done that and be like, yeah. You find it like. Clean it. <laughs> you find it a lot of good stuff? Not like, really. No, no. No, not Never really. like a good garbage find? Not really. I mean, like, I found, I guess like... Fair. I found it is garbage. I mean, like, out in the county, I would think you would find more stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah? For sure. Yeah. Because the city, not really. I mean, like, most of the stuff is fucked up. Right. That's fair. You know what I mean? Like, you might, once in a while, like, I think the one day... Oh, it was funny. The one day I, I dumped a garbage can. It was probably a student moved out or something. Mm-hmm. And uh, I looked at it, a wallet fell out. So I'm like, oh. I'm like, oh, sweet, $8. And I look, back, <laughs> I look back and he's like, oh, what'd you find? I'm like, $8. Yeah. Have a good day. He's like, what? Uh, <laughs> like, Eight yeah. bucks richer, man. Oh, the one time I dumped a can and $20 fluttered out of it. I'm like, oh, oh sweet. Fuck yeah. So I'm looking through Dude, it more. I'm like, oh, there's got to be more. There's got to be more. <laughs> What's that rule? When you find one, you're going to find more, right? Yeah. I'm like, where is it? Oh, the one time we were around... Uh, I'm not going to say the street, but we're in the Flores Glade area. Yeah. And uh, there was a bunch of money. I'm not going to say the denomination. Right. Either. So there's a bunch of money that was all over the street. But I didn't know that. So I found five bucks. And I was with her dad. And I was like, hey, dude, I just found five bucks on the ground. And he goes, dude, look around. See if there's anything else. <laughs> <laughs> so I, happen to, I, look under a, I look under a vehicle. Fucking all of it's right there. I'm oh, like, shit. <sighs> there was like maybe $115 in an increment of money. Like, yeah. Right? And I'm like, holy dude, man. This is great. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's call it a day. Yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, man, I don't feel so good now. Yeah. Right? <laughs> let's so get then, out of here. So then, but it's fucking hilarious because he'll like be like, hey. Like this, and I look down, there's $20 sitting next to the curb. I'm like, how the fuck do you see this shit? Yeah, that is fucking impressive. Like, gotta gotta then, keep your eye out. And then all of a sudden, I'll, we'll, we'll be working, we'll hear, and he, I see him get out of the truck, and he's picking something up off the ground. It's like, he goes, oh, I thought it was a watch. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> yeah. wow, the guy's got eagle vision, yeah. man. That like, is, yeah, you gotta have some pretty good vision. I remember one time you said you brought up money, and I remember I was leaving a Spitfire game, and I was walking. I was with my brother. We went to the game, and I, he was like a, maybe two steps behind me, and I walk, and of course, show shit. He goes, "Yo, I found fifty bucks," and then I look down, and I'm like. Yo, he did. I walked right over that bitch. I don't know how he fucking seen that. He seen right? way before. I walked right over it. They wasn't even paying attention. Yeah, I was kind of dumb the one time. I was doing a map around the Drew Light area. Yeah. And uh, I found a whole wallet. It was a rainy, shitty day. It was a whole wallet. I opened it up, and there was like, I don't know, I'd say $300 and 50s in it and a mm. couple 20s and stuff. I turned it in. I gave it to my supervisor, mm. right? I'm like, you deal with this because, like, I was going to take the money. Right, but I'm like, I already have bad fucking karma. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. I'm like, fuck, man, I could really use it too. It's one of those things where it presented itself, and I could really use it. 
It's like an opportunity, but I'm like, man, but maybe this dude needs yeah. it too. Maybe it's his old. That's all what, his I was honestly money. better thinking than I would have done. <laughs> right? I would have took it. Hey! Yeah. Yeah. I have lost my wallet before, and I knew I had money in it, but I didn't care about the money. I'm like, as long as I can get my wallet back. I lost my wallet. Oh, Actually, fuck. I didn't lose my wallet. I was on the bus. I had to go get. I have bad teeth, so right. I went to go get a prescription for some antibiotics. Yeah. I'm coming home. I'm in my work gear. I had to leave right when I got to work. I had to go all the way down to Wyatt, Riverside and Wyatt, Lozon. Right. Don't drive. So I got to take a bus. Yeah. So, uh, like, I'm getting on my way home. I feel three dudes. Boom, boom. Hit me. All of a sudden, I'm looking down. My wallet's gone. Like, oh, you got hit in the... F- they fucking pickpocketed oh, me, bro. Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. I'm looking at like, what the fuck? I'm like, this happens in Canada? Like, yeah. I've seen the videos over there that it happens yeah. over in Europe and shit. Yeah. I'm like, that happens here? I'm like, oh, my God. And I'm super sensitive. Like, I'm super aware yeah. of shit around. Like, I can tell when the wind and the temperature changes, right? Like, I can feel all that shit. So, I don't know how they got my shit. Like, it was the distraction of being bumped into three times. Oh, and, and then they like, snagged they, it yeah. from your fucking pocket. Yeah. yeah, because it was sitting right here, and I had my prescription there. Right. So they, I don't think I had the flap over on my safety, on my, on my sweater. Right? Right, right, right. So they fucking snatched it. But then they found out that there was nothing worth it, and they dropped someone, dropped it off at the union hall. Oh wow. I'm like, like two weeks later, I'm like, fuck! I just canceled the fucking dinner. <laughs> 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 fuck! Fuck! <laughs> Cause it's a pain in the ass to get your yeah, shit back. Yeah, like man. you know what's funny is like I had to do my health card, and like before I went to go do it, I moved. Oh no! So that they they sent it to my address, and then I find out the old <laughs> landlord told the mail lady that I don't live there no more. So they stopped bringing the mail there. So they resent it back. So now I got to go all the way to the thing, change my address. Yeah. Which I don't even think I have one look at things that says my new address. Right? Really? Yeah, like, how am I going to do this now? Yeah. I don't have nothing, right? Yeah, you got to get that fucking sorted uh, the only, out. Actually, I, it's wrong. I have six months of receipts. Right. That I pay rent. Right, so right, right. That's fine. Then. I think that's yeah, fine. as long as you six have, like, an ad, like an uh, ad address that you have. And I have my previous address to right. match, too. So, like, I still have shit in that. You'll, fi- you'll figure that out. That, that won't be that hard. But, like, Well, yeah, no. I still, when I got my glasses, I used the code they gave me, and it still worked. There you go. So, I mean, it's all right. Yeah, yeah you're, you end up yeah. working out good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I got my brand new glasses, sunglasses. There you go. Listen, I'm telling you, when you wear sunglasses, I never wore sunglasses in my life. Like, right. I've never, because I've always had glasses, glasses. So I've never had the need to go get shades. Mm-hmm. It like literally takes like 10 degrees off your face wearing these things. Because I got polarized at home. Right for like on, for outside. when you're outside, yeah. For, yeah. Uh, like I use them for at work. It literally when the sun's beating on me, I put them on. Literally ten degrees off my face. You oh. see these tan lines? I know. Yeah, yeah. I know. He yeah he wears them a lot. It's funny because I had Polaroid ones when I when I first ever got glasses. So I was in high school. I didn't find out I was legally blind till I was in high school. Believe it or not, right? I played right. fucking every sport you can think of. Did not find out I was legally blind until I got to high school. You're really? telling me not one coach is like, "You're blind as shit, Graham." It was <laughs> uh, it was a teacher that was concerned. The teacher was like, because I sat at the front row and I was writing notes, and he looked at my notes and he goes, "Not one thing on your paper is what I wrote on the board." Just- and I was like, "Oh," and he was like, "Man, I'm I'm not even kidding. You should go get your eyes checked." And I did. I found out I was legally blind. So for me, they found out that I actually don't. To start wearing glasses, I didn't need them for everyday life. Right. I only needed them to read. Okay. okay would your but, eyes get worse over time? Is that what it was? Well, they fucked up because oh. I can't see far away. Up close without them, I can see great. Mm-hmm. Like right here, beautiful. Yeah. Over there, nothing. Wow. Like I couldn't even, see, like I know it's Rambo, but I couldn't see the words. I couldn't see this. Even really? This, yeah. Oh, wow. Being here, the red would fuck me up. Oh, right? wow. Oh, yeah. Like yeah, that's... I went to this... Uh, holistic person that does stuff with like lasers and they put it in your eyes and shit red makes me fall over it's weird it's green weird. green i get real tense and blue i think i just stay normal I forget what the fuck colors mean yeah but red for some reason when i concentrate on it, it would make me fucking fall over that's so weird it yeah, is that's weird. crazy but i forget what it was something to do with like something that happened in the past like trauma in the past it was kind of like some trigger that i didn't know how to like, explain mm-hmm. so i'm like yeah okay i'm done here 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, thanks for that. I'm out of here. Yeah, yeah I don't, I, I don't want to go down this road. No. Yeah. No, never mind. Not if a color makes me fall over. No, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm all right. Yeah. yeah. I just but need to know which one it was. It's, then, yeah. it's funny because the Polaroid. So if I'm at a red light, I'm just going to fucking pass out? Yeah. Because <laughs> the po- like those Polaroid ones that I did have, I would I would go out for lunch and then come back from school and they'd be like, Jake, you got to take off your sunglasses because yeah. they take a second to switch back. And I'm like, oh, yeah, the transition the, ones. Yeah. And yeah, I'm like, yeah. oh, I'm not wearing sunglasses. I'm not, these are my actual glasses. I need these. To yeah. See. I actually need these to see or I cannot see what's going on. Yeah. So I was going to like get a pair of those. But I think because of me being outside so long, it would just stay dark. Right. All right. So I got polarized and that's just fucking weird for everything. Like I'm looking outside. I'm like, damn, it's actually pretty dark out here. <laughs> Oh my god, no, it's not. Yeah. You get <laughs> or I look at my tricked. phone, I'm trying. Yeah. Can't see nothing. It's all like hologram. Yeah. Right? So, like, a couple things you're getting used to. Right, right. But um, it's a great thing for, like, for people that don't wear, especially in today's eyes or sun, get fucking sunglasses. Yeah. Yeah, like, don't get bad eyes from the sun, man. Yeah, it helps. I wear good. shades 10 all- hours a day. Yeah. yeah. Inside, outside. Raining, the nighttime. <laughs> wear them. Wear them. Wear them. <laughs> yeah. He says, yeah. wear them. They look yeah. and you look cool as fuck. Bu- cool as yeah, fuck. The cool other day I had to work in a dark room with no light. I had some clears on. This chick I work with was like, I don't think I've ever seen you with not sunglasses. Yeah. I'm like, she yeah. Was like, oh, I look s- lame. <laughs> <laughs> lame as shit. I look right lame now. as fuck, bro. Yeah. God damn. Fuck, fuck these eyes. clear ones. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So Tom, how did the uh, how did the content thing start for you? What what made you want to do that? I got bored of listening to Spotify. That's fair. Okay. Yeah, like uh, I went through every fucking playlist I could find that started playing all the same music. Right. Right. So I'm like, fuck. Maybe it's time to wait for some new shit to come out on Spotify. And so then I'm like, fuck. Maybe I'll do a live. So I did a live once, and then it, I had like 300 people watching, and then uh, just kept doing it. Yeah. And then all of a sudden I had 3,000 watching and then it broke my leg. So <laughs> I'm like, fuck. Oh, so, you're, oh yeah, that's right. I forgot about your injury. Yeah, yeah so yeah. I broke my leg and just at the when I was really doing everything. And then after um, after I broke my leg, started healing, I had to go move. Right. So then I misplaced where my fucking phone was that I was using for fucking doing videos. Right. But then again, I was also trying to play safe. Because I didn't want to, like, uh, you know, do anything that could cause, you know, serious injury again. To your leg. Yeah, okay. I just wanted to focus on doing what I was doing, mm-hmm. not uh, be distracted. Right, right, right. So, yeah, so I just started doing that, and uh, I try to keep it, you know, kid-friendly, you know, so they can see what... It's not necessarily about me. It's about necessarily what's going in the truck and watching the truck operate. That's pretty much the angle. Right. You see me dump a can once in a while. Um, But, you know, like I said, there's no company talk. There's no nothing like that. It's just strictly dumping garbage. Yeah, you just have it on live and keep doing it. There's people that do that. There's people that do that with cooking. And I have Mm. have a few friends that are in the, like, I got a kind of a group of garbage people online. And when they have the chance, they go in and moderate for me. Right. So I can just focus on doing what I'm doing. Mm. So that's pretty much it. And then now it's like, you know, I do filters and. Stupid stuff and take videos of like you know things that come across in in a regular day, right? You know, like denials and you know common sense things. You know, what's I'm, a denial? This is like I know it's like something you can't take, but give me an yeah, example. Yeah, so of like something a you can't bag take. on the outside of the can, or bag on top on top of a lid, or a broken garbage can, or what's it? Can I just ask the reason for that? Like, why couldn't you uh, be well to? Um, uh, so it's because of the needle problem oh okay all right, right? Yeah, yeah so yeah i mean I, I, there's no other way to yeah really no i get what it, you're saying okay right so and like you see it all the time and sometimes even people that accidentally for you know forget that they can't throw that out they get in trouble as soon as we see a needle we pull a stop and we call a city that's the rules we have to do it mm-hmm. we don't want to do it we don't want to do it mm-hmm. we don't we have to right you know people that don't do it they're just asking for trouble Mm-hmm. Because, you know, I believe our policy is, or our health and safety policy is, if you actually get stuck, it's an automatic run to the emergency. Right, right. Yeah, you would have to. Yep. Yeah, automatically. So, 
So if the, to eliminate that, you see it, because like there is one that I d- discovered, and I had an inkling that it was prior to dis- discovering it, and it happened because the way the scenario is, it has to happen at the stop. Right. It okay. can't happen the next stop over. It's got to happen there. It's got to be discovered there. Right. So it happened about five houses down, an orange tip fell out. I'm like, I knew it, and there's nothing I can do except for hopefully next week when I cycle every can by itself, something happens. Right. And I don't want to do it, but we've got to keep the city straight, uh, mm. safe. Yeah, yeah. You know? So, like, I have... So that. you guys have all that stuff to worry about, too, then. And then right. we've got people like the that don't understand the rules. It's not the fact that we're lazy. It's the fact that we got rules to follow. Right. Some people don't follow it, but unfortunately I'm guessing I like do. some people give you a hard time like if you deny something like you don't pick it up they're like, "Hey, what the fuck?" Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Fuck, man. Yeah, Why yeah. can't yeah, you so take like, my whole lot of stuff? I had a woman one time come up to me, "Hey! Hey!" I'm like, first of all, first of all, that's not how you say good morning to somebody." Yeah. Second of all, you're going to talk to me with a little bit more respect. I'm picking up your neighborhood garbage. What can I do for you, ma'am? Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Why didn't you take my garbage can? I'm like, because when I pick it up, the bottom's going to lift out of it. And then all your garbage is going to fall. And it's, it's going to stay there. So the only way I'll take that is if I take the whole thing. Okay. Take the whole can, throw it in. We have rules. I'm not yeah, picking yeah, yeah. up garbage, man. I'm not picking up garbage other than it's what I'm supposed to do. You're just following what you got to follow, bro. Yeah, that's sure. It. Because you know what? If you go a little mile for somebody else, when you go back the next week, it's three, something else. Yeah. People down the line is going to do the same fucking thing. And you can't do that. Yeah. You can't, it's like, you can't give anyone leeway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like literally, da- like, it's dangerous for us. Right. You know what's really bad, too? Is the barbecue skewers from shish kebabs and stuff. You know, when people suck on the meat and get all that. You know, that scrapes your leg or your arm. or your, It's an infection. Yeah. Simple things like that, they don't realize. You know, they don't burn that shit. Throw it in your barbecue, burn your little stick. What's it going to hurt if you burn your stick in your barbecue? Yeah. I, I usually do that. Just burn them? Burn them, but I got a Herbie now. So, oh, okay, yeah. You know. So I love the Herbie Kirby's, man. Yeah, the Herbie Kirby's. I got one. I fucking love that shit. When those yeah. things drop. We okay. rent it. Everybody tells me I shouldn't rent it, but it's a great idea because I can put it out there. Somebody can come and steal it. I get a new one out there the next day. If someone burns mm-hmm. it, I get a new one there. My wife can use that as a weapon, and it breaks. I can fucking get a new one the next day. Boom. Nothing happens to it. It fucking falls apart. Any squirrel eats it. Mm-hmm. Hey, hey, squirrel. I got my shit. All right. No, next day. The next day they'll bring it to you. The next day they'll bring me a new one. Fuck. I want right. I'll be at work and there'll be a new one. Yeah. The one Fucking time, right. the one time, one of the recycle guys broke my Herbie. Called mm-hmm. him up. I'm like, hey, Stan, one of the guys broke my bar on one of my blue Herbies. All right, no problem. Came and switched out the whole new one. Damn, nice. Just the bar because uh, when that area breaks, that's another thing a lot of people don't realize about their garbage containers. Like when you buy those roller bins, mm-hmm. when they have these little little mini ones, mm-hmm. right? They don't sell them with the bar for some reason. So when they buy them, we can't take those. Our truck won't lift it. Well, it'll lift it, but it'll also land in the truck. So we're not oh, supposed yeah. to take that. And people come, what? And I'm like, listen, you just got to go get a steel bar from Home Hardware. They sell them separately for whatever reason, but they sell them separately. Oh, okay. But it, out again the next week. And so I leave it. Yeah. Get the picture. You know, you'll, and, you'll figure it out eventually. Yeah, and the worst <laughs> is like people like I don't understand about people with, with with cats. Like, either you got multiple cans with one bag in it that's a box of fucking cat litter, a used box of cat litter in each fucking can, mm-hmm. right? Or you got people that just bring the whole thing out and dump it right in their shit. Oh, into the Herbie. Okay, right into the Herbie. Yeah, I ain't taking that. People do it, it with has dog to be wrapped shit. up, right? Yeah. Listen, technically, animal waste is supposed to be buried. Oh wow! Really? Yeah, I didn't it's even know supposed that. to be buried, mm-hmm. right? That's why but as a courtesy, things. oh wow! But, I didn't as know a, that. but as a courtesy, put it in the fucking bag. And I explain to people, they're like, "Well, what's the difference? It gets in the truck." I'm like, "Yeah." So if you put loose dog shit and cat waste, um, loose in your garbage can, it tips right where I have to bend over. And right, I get garbage cans. Yeah. If you put it in a bag, it's more likely to get sucked up into the truck and ooze out the back. 
Right. So it's not near me. That's what they don't understand. I shouldn't have to fucking lean against your dog shit and animal waste. There's no reason for it. Well, you also got to keep somewhat sanitary to, to a degree. To a degree, Like, obviously. I mean, like, the best I do is when I dump at the first transfer, at the first dump, I always open it up and spray it down. Mm-hmm. It's the best I can do. But, I mean, but then the next can I pick has loose cat shit in it. Mm. You know what I mean? Or what I don't understand is people that throw out dirt. Just dirt? dirt? Like, dirt. full on dirt? Like, dirt. Like, they've done landscaping and they throw out dirt. What? Yeah. I've never even heard of that. Bro. Yeah, they yeah. throw out dirt. Like, I don't get it. Like, you got a couple won't... buckets of dirt, just fucking pour it in your yeah. trash can. Yeah. That's so weird. I've never heard of that. Okay. Oh, no. sometimes they put them in the big size Herbies, and that shit's heavy. <laughs> like, and the rule is if we can roll it, we got to take it because the truck will lift it. At least the rear packs. Right. Side but what about. Not so much. But what about if it's just you dumping? Like you, you throwing it in. There's gotta oh, be a 50 certain pounds. Way. It's 50 I, pounds. I go 50 pounds, but I think it's actually like 42. Oh, but how the fuck are you gonna tell what 42 is? Yeah. So I go. And you that know is what? true. That this is true. 43. I'm leaving. Yeah. You gotta scale. <laughs> yeah. Well, there was. I guess there was back in the day somebody actually had a fishing scale, and they would. Nope, too heavy. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah. Okay. He, he got he got told to not do that. All right. So like we definitely pick heavier than 50 pounds. Right. But that's because it's our choice after that. Right. You have all the way up to 50 pounds. Anything over that. You can deny. We, if we can lift it, we'll take it. Oh, you'll decide. Okay. I see what you're saying. Okay. But you mean? don't have to. But, you but don't, we don't, don't have, have to. Yeah, right. Okay. Right. Like you don't have to. Like it depends on, for me, depends on my mood. Right. right. If it's a repeat offender. You know, okay, this guy every week puts up a fucking head. Yeah, I was going to say, you get get to know people, right? Just get another fucking can. Put one bag in it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, come on. So, like, that type of stuff you get used to. but And then you you also get used to the ones that have, like, one bag in the pail. So, you real quick. And then you got the ones that you just realize. Usually you remember really, really well as, like, the troublemakers. Oh, wow, really? Yeah. Like, the ones that repeat offenders have always putting out stuff they shouldn't or coming up to the truck that's the biggest we don't i technically i don't mind you coming up to the truck you got an extra bag but just fucking say hey how you doing because if i'm working and doing that i don't know where you are i could turn around because i swing a lot like right. i pivot I'm, a, I'm like a basketball player pitcher whatever well you're not paying I'm attention swinging, to right? yeah i'll knock you the hell out with a garbage can not knowing about it. <laughs> yeah like we had this one guy he, his son was really excited he wanted to come and see me. his son comes ripping I happened to see a quarter of his eye that he was coming. I'm like, whoa. I'm like, guy, you got to have your kid away from me, man. Like, I don't want to be rude, but I almost knocked your kid out. And you would have sued me. Or tried to. Yeah, yeah. But people don't realize we got, we're watched on those trucks. Yeah. Well, we're, we're not watched, but it's watched. I get what you're Our, saying. The radius of the truck is watched. It's got video on it, right? right so right, right. anything that's happened, it's caught. So... If I would have knocked that kid out. Kid just ran up on you and you were throwing trash at him, man. You yeah. weren't looking at him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I had people like. I had, What's I, like the craziest thing someone's ever came up to you and s- said or like want demand? Like, was it that lady or would you say it's someone else? Like s- something that sticks out into your mind. I haven't had anybody really, really come up to me because I'm pretty much of a nice guy. Really. If you come up to me with some nice manners, I'm pretty nice. But um, if you come up with, to me with, you know, a demeanor that's not so nice, I'm not so nice. Right. Well, it's just how it is. You get what you give. Mm-hmm. So I haven't really had too many people that were too much. Except, like too much of an issue? Except for this one. I had a temp with us. I was with my driver. And we're in the Forest Glade area again. And it's a repeat offender, oversized pails all the time. So we said, fuck it. I denied him. I said, shut. Deny him. Deny him. And it, so we so I went to the tent. I went like this to him. So he left it. They come. We go all the way down. We come back. They're a, ah, why do you blah, 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 take our stuff, rah, 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 rah. And so we just keep going. And it was like construction was going to start. It hasn't commenced yet. Right. So we still don't know yet what the real policy about construction really is. We're supposed to take bags in construction zones. But that's when I was told when the construction commences, meaning starts, Mm -hmm. starts doing it, right? Not when they put the pylons up. 
You know what I mean? You right. can still put your regular garbage can out. So that was the discrepancy. So they got all pissed off, but really I had we had a right to deny them because it was overfilled and a bag on the outside. So they started throwing the garbage bags at the truck. What? Yeah. God. So uh driver was like, nah, I'm going. We're done. He, w- he went back to the shop. He was getting, he's like, there's no fucking reason why we need to put up with this shit. Right? There's no mm. reason. But luckily he's like, okay, guys, I just needed a minute to cool down. We're good. Nah. So we went back, right? But we didn't do that street while the whole construction was going on. Huh? Yeah. Ruined it for everybody. Ruined it for That's what I was saying. <laughs> Ruined it for fucking everybody. No, Fuck you. We didn't go down. But no, they, I'm they saying they another did. truck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I see oh, what you're saying. They sent another okay. truck They're down like, there yeah. to do that. Yeah. I we thought you were like, collect. we denied the whole street for months. No, but we <laughs> did. We, we did. We left that whole block. We left that whole block on the way out of that stretch. Right. We left that whole block. Yeah, that's you were the, like fucking because that's on. policy. Get on the step and go. Yeah, go in as far as you need to go, and then someone else will come in and take care of it. Right, that's the policy. Right. You're not supposed to comfort, be confrontational, but they can be confrontational to you. You try, yeah, because right? yeah, but it's just like no, you're gonna treat me with disrespect. I'm not gonna let you do that. It's very I have a hard enough job as it is not yeah. to worry about you being a dink. Yeah. Especially if you're out all day throwing garbage in the heat or whatever, and then someone fucking really wants to fuck with you. Yeah. You're like, get the fuck out of here, man. Like, don't piss me off. Near, especially if it's, like, near the end of the day or something. Fuck oh, off. There's times, but you got to be professional. You got to yeah. be professional, man. You, but sometimes you slip. Yeah. you Well, it's bound to. Because you got to remember, too. I'm just saying it from the, a shop point of view because I work in a shop. A yeah. lot of the guys are, like, you know, we work in the heat. Like, we work next to a 400-degree, 20-foot oven. Right. So, it's like... When when things aren't going right and like someone from the office who's sitting in an AC office comes down and starts bitching yeah, at one yeah, of these yeah. guys that have been working for ten hours yeah. in the heat yeah. and you start either sweating through their shirt they're dripping and the you know the guys get a little hot headed so you yeah. gotta you know here's an ice cream sandwich calm the fuck down yeah yeah take yeah. that and you know it's not that just have those like, hey yeah uh, by the way there? we got a pizza yeah, party I, for you. Freezies. Yeah, yeah or we got a fuck. pizza party for yeah, you guys. Yeah. Thanks. Dad. Hey, the guys are feeling stressed. Pizza party and pop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, you had your slice. Get out. Yeah. 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 Like hey, next shift. Yeah. Or they'll yeah. like feed you a pasta meal, and you're like, great. Now I gotta go to, work for three I hours. Work, I used to work at a plastic recycling company, and they uh, they they did a summer thing mm-hmm. for all the employees. Mm-hmm. So what they would do is they would. Stop the day shift for a half an hour, right? And then delay the afternoon shift for a half an hour, so it'd be an hour total t- downtime. Mm-hmm. That's the pizza party, nice, right? <laughs> That's your pizza party with a $25 Tim Hortons gift card. If, what if the dude can remember your name because he's like, Hey, who's uh, who's Tom Cavanaugh? And the project manager is like, He's standing right in front of you. To come and see the people that are making you millions of dollars, bud. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, he busy. rolls up in his, uh, his AMG, you know, Mercedes, like fucking half a million dollar car. Get the, f- come on. I want I want these business owners to show up in like a Fiat or something. Yeah, Fiat. Yeah, some little something bullshit. Something you could die in. I know you got a, <laughs> I I know you got a bunch of money, but you don't have to come here and show me. Mm-hmm. You know, show up in your Miata, motherfucker. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, your Honda Civic. Yeah, <laughs> that be. It's like when Jeff Bezos getting interviewed. Like, like, it's a Honda <laughs> Civic. They're like, you're like the, one of the richest men. Why are you doing? He goes, ah, uh, it's a good car. Like, yeah, I mean, this dude's just yeah, fucking an like. We already know you own a business. You got a bunch of money. So what's the, what else about the status do you want? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> like ah. Uh. And you wonder why you got some people, like some people's employers have shit workers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're showing up in your Mercedes or your, you know, vet or whatever. Like, come on. You know, there's a bunch of people that I could name, but I'm not going to, that have that do that, that I know that own businesses. And it's like, come on. I get it. It's good to show, but come on. There's just even a lot of businesses, and I'll just, I'll, I don't give a fuck, Old Castle in general. Oh, yeah. Like, there's always a guy with the fucking brand new Ford Lightning oh, yeah. out there. Dude, <laughs> and then, like, you know, the, the one dude that just started, you're like, oh, cool. And then you go look on Indeed what, like, they're putting out, and they're like, yeah, we want to come be a general labor for seventeen fifty an hour. You're like, are yeah, you fucking yeah, delusional, yeah. bro? I'm not right. fucking coming in for seventeen fifty an hour. Yeah, like $12 million sitting in a parking lot with all your executive's yeah. cars. With American plates. I did, well, like I, like I said, I don't even know how people find the... Like, I know certain people will work those jobs, 
but it's like that is crazy especially if you're somebody who's like trying to you know you got a family or something like that how 1750 is fucking hard to live off of man and it's i've done factory before i used to be a seatbelt tester right so we used to like take the seatbelt and we would like hook it up plug it in to the sensor pull it out to a light would kick in right let it go back pull it to the next one let it come back right yeah. that's what i would do I wanted to fucking shoot myself. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh my God. Like, oh my God. Yeah, I didn't do, and there was a quota. You had to do like 700 yeah. of these things a fucking night. And I'm like, get the fuck out of here. Back when I was making seat belts, <laughs> <laughs> my first, the first time I'd ever had a job got a poor performance review. And oh. it's because I'd missed that quota by like eight like <laughs> on one shift, like two months before. And I'm like, I'm quitting today. Yeah. <laughs> so in that same factor, I had to like test out like I had to inspect like I think it was the Chrysler minivan at the time the when they first revealed the new version of it. Yeah. And uh, we had to we had to find a mistake in the rim. You had to find a mistake. We had to mistake. We had to find a mistake. It, it's what happens if th- there wasn't? No, we had to find. Oh one. my god, this is okay. yeah. We had to find one. We had to like find. Oh, there's a speck in the paint that's off, or we had to find something. It's the way the company made money to mm-hmm. send them back as a rejection. Oh wow! Oh, yeah, so you just took your key and just kind of gouged the tire, right? <laughs> just gouged but that's the, side the thing. Wall. That giant gouge. How was that get? But there? that's the thing. They here. had cameras on your ass, so oh. like you couldn't do that shit, right? But so, but they just wanted. So they just made sure that you were inspecting every single part. For the money they were paying you, because they were paying you like I think at the time minimum wage was like ten bucks, so they're probably paying you like twelve fifty or something. So it's a little bit more. So they want to make sure you're doing your shit, but they, you had to find a mistake. Right, that's ludicrous. <laughs> yeah, it seems that I mean, you imagine be like this is literally a perfect. Yeah, perfect I'm part. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I'm like Chrysler's <laughs> paint shop just sent us four thousand rims. 4,000 of them are defective. <laughs> <laughs> there is not a single good product in here. <laughs> you need to fire your paint guy. Yeah. I'm looking through all these. These all look shit. <laughs> shit, 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 <laughs> garbage. Yeah. Garbage. Why'd you even show me this? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, oh, my God. Another shit one. Yeah. yeah Fuckers. Like, how do they keep getting away with this? <laughs> What's with Chrysler fucking doing this shit? Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure that place isn't around anymore. Yeah, yeah. Probably, like they got found out probably big time. Oh fuck, yeah, man. I, I think everyone has like those jobs. Like I, I always talk about this job. I, I worked when I was fucking sixteen. I worked in this. I it was actually powder coating as well. But I worked in this old shop in McGregor. Now, this shop had two two company names because the first company name was like the one that we promoted. But that one wasn't paying any taxes at all to the government. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so they're like, we need this. Open this second one, so we're legitimate. <laughs> And we haven't paid taxes yet, but we still have some leeway <laughs> before, we have, before we have to. But like, yeah, the the own like there was two owners. The one air, owner was a heroin addict. The fucking other one died of a heart attack. Oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah great. but it was like it, I mean, like we'd work like 13, 14 hour days, but like this place was off the hinge, bro. Like I mean, like the owner would walk by with a joint. And he's like, hand, I'm 16. He's handing me a joint. I'm fucking hitting this thing in the middle of work. And then, Man. After, and then after I remember we're like, he makes me hit this joint and then he goes, uh, that was before it was legal. Yeah. And I, <laughs> and I, by the way, I have my, G, uh, I don't know what it was for you, back, but like G, we had a G one, you have to go like through a yeah. G one, G two, yeah. all that shit. Yeah. So G one, like you can't drive, you have to drive with somebody as a G one. Yeah. 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 And, and I smoked this joint and he goes, we all want McDonald's for lunch. So why don't you go? And I don't know, like, I remember just being like barbecued. I remember I was fucking high as shit. <laughs> and he was like, and we're out in the county. So he's like, drive back into Windsor and get us all McDonald's. Take everyone's order and go get us McDonald's. And I did. I had to. No choice. I had to go. I have no car. I, I have no car. Fucking starving. So I'm sitting there. I'm driving this because he didn't bring his car in because his car was getting fixed. So he had his wife's minivan. So I'm driving her minivan high as sin. Going to pick up McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? For like, the whole crew, bro. Oh my god! Yeah, it was uh, fucking hilarious. It was so funny. I, but like that place, like, that, I mean, they'd hand you a beer. Like you'd be working in the middle of the day, and the here you go. That's crazy. And you're like, if if the ministry walked in. <laughs> oh yeah. If the ministry Is this sixteen year old high? We're not, right getting, now. <laughs> we're not getting ISO approved over here. Yeah, yeah. Dude, like if the ministry came, everyone was like, put everything away. Put it! You got one guy yelling at you, like, put everything away. Grab the empties, throw them in the back, don't let them see. 
Don't let him see the empties. Like, dude, the ovens weren't even like registered, so they come in every time. They're like, we're gonna have to find you for the ovens. And no, like, see, right. like, when it, <laughs> I've been oh, in some let's... pretty bad things where we'd be out at lunchtime, all in a circle, smoking a bunch of weed, mm. and then we see the supervisor pop around the corner. No, what we do is whoever's holding the fucking thing. Is fu- Good luck. Yeah. We scatter like squirrels, man. Boo. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh. Fuck! Who yeah. tang it? Who tang the roach? Yeah. <laughs> Boss is coming. Who tang the roach? <laughs> That'd be funny. But at that point, you're just caught. So yeah. I like, <laughs> oh, I remember one time I worked at Tim Hortons, and I remember one time I fucking brought in like ten joints and smoked them all. I used to be the midnight baker. Yeah. yeah. Let's put it this way: it took me until eight o'clock to get all the fucking baked goods out. <laughs> yeah. so I'm like, oh man, I did so much right now. I'm gonna go for a break. Come back out, fucking later on, fucking two hours. Don't even have half the shit out and fucking going. It takes forty five minutes each to cook. Yeah, and I'm like, it oh, takes a second. Fuck. Yeah. I'm like, oh, the oven was unplugged. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm like, yeah, that didn't last very long. Oh, dude, I remember one time I got off work at that place and they sent me to you know the McGregor store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Where it's to sell alcohol. They're yeah. sending sixteen year old me in to go get it. And she was just happy to have my business. <laughs> hey, sweetheart. <laughs> hey, sweetheart. And then I, you know, grab a case of beer, go back to the shop. I'm fucking sitting in the back with all of them. And this is the first time I've ever, ever hit a dab pen. So the owner gives me. Like a, a dab pen. Like, like not, an actual dab pen. Like an actual pen. Like, like the one that you got to put the shit in it. And like, yes, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, like yes. the big rig. Yes. Yeah, okay. So he hands me Those this. Those fucking things are poison. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I. <laughs> Fresh to have my license. I'm smashing back a case of beer with these guys in the back. I'm 16. He goes, hey, uh, why don't you hit this? I fucking rip on this thing because I'm like, man, there's barely any smoke coming out of it. And I hit oh, it. Yeah. And he goes, you're, you're still hitting that thing? And I was like, yeah, man, there's like barely any smoke. He goes, there's not, there's not supposed to be that much smoke, man. Like, it's, you're like it'll hit you fast. Yeah, and, then, and then as he said that, I'm like. Oh, shit. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm fucking high. Yeah. So I give him the dab. And I remember I go out. For 40 minutes, just sitting in the chair. Yeah. To I'm like, I got to drive home. <laughs> they, as soon as someone says my name, like, hey, Jake, you good? I'm like, I'm great. And I get up. Get out of here. I get in my car. I wait for everyone else to leave. I take like a few big breaths. Like, I'm like, <laughs> I drive home. I'm like, let's just focus on getting home. I get home. And as I'm getting home, I'm driving past the Taco Bell. I'm like, well, I could stop. <laughs> gotta focus. Uh, yeah, you gotta get there. Why stop. is Taco Bell the go-to when you're fucking drunk? It's fucking disgusting. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Do you know what? Yeah, actually, the one else is good too is the downtown fucking sausage vendor when you're coming out of the club. Oh, oh, oh. dude! <laughs> oh. I used to live. I we I would walk out. Lie. That guy like, would be lined up in the front of the club we were at. We were like, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. You fucking smell it. It's like fucking when you smell a pie. It's like, yeah. oh, How man. did he always know where to park? I don't, yeah. He knew where to park, and it was funny. I remember this one guy trying to like bargain with him. Like, listen, man, let's start a tab. And he yeah. goes, I don't think you're not understanding. I'm my own hot dog vendor. I can't start a tab with you. It's so funny watching dudes like try to like, <laughs> list, like you know hey, what I mean, slither their way in. I could have. You think so? You could have been like, let me start up a tab. Well, think about it, Jake. I've swindled harder. That's true. Bought a jacket off a homeless man. Yeah, he, he has. bought a jacket off he a did. homeless he man. He did. That's right. He did. He tells the story a lot, actually. Two bucks. <laughs> and two, I need a coffee. And two, two cigarettes. cigarettes. Oh, wow. It was a yeah. $175 jacket. Nice. Yeah, I know. It's a nice Tommy nice. Hilfiger jacket. Yeah. You still have that, right? Oh, I still Fuck have that. Dude, yeah. you want to know what's real bad? Is I, I used to go to tra- Toronto a lot. Yeah. So, when you walk out of Union Station out in Toronto, I don't know what the fuck street is. I don't know. When you look out there, these fucking people that are out there asking for money have fucking, like, stellar clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> they got that shit on, bro. Yeah, like, they got good clothes on asking for money. Like, and they're homeless. They, like, literally, their box is right there in the corner. But their fucking shit is yeah. banging. It's like the only time you can see a homeless guy with like an iPhone 15. You're like, yeah, hey, bro, what the like, fuck? You got a phone plan? Man. I got a job and I ain't got that shit. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, fuck, I was contemplating life for a minute. I'm like, yeah. fuck, maybe there's a thing about this shit. Yeah. Why are the homeless in Toronto living better than we are with yeah. full-time jobs? In I, don't, I don't know. I don't Dude, know. Wearing like a Louis Vuitton bag. <laughs> you, know what, you know what's funny? It's like, it's funny because like social services, you know, like, Whatever it is, you know, welfare, whatever you want to call yeah. it. Like they literally make more money than people that work full time. Oh, I think if that's you, what a lot you, of people realize. If you during consider COVID. the benefits and everything that they get, yeah, you yeah. know, transportation, every benefit. Yeah, like for me to go get it, if, if I was on welfare right now to get my teeth fixed, it would be they would charge. Uh, 
The dentist can only charge 20 bucks a tooth. What? That's why when you go to a dentist, when a regular person goes to a dentist, it's $400 to get a tooth pulled because they got to make their money somehow. Yeah. Yeah. I never like, I got that. so much work done that needs to be done. I I would have to use my benefits for five years. For five years? Just to, yeah, get, them just to get my shit done. Yeah. yeah. And then that's just to get them pulled out. Then I got to get dentures and shit. So that's another couple of years using benefits. I literally have a pair of pliers on me like right now. Dude. Listen, listen, <laughs> listen, I'm telling you right now, like I would like wouldn't turn down a boxing match right now because I found a loophole. You got to break my jaw and I can get it done in the hospital for free. I can't do that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. But I'm like, are you fucking serious? That's the loophole. That's, like, yeah. You can't like What if I get a bad fucking tooth infection? Can't you just do it out there? I've gone to the hospital with an abscess and all they've done was pump me through Tylenol threes and said, oh, you got to make a dentist appointment. Oh wow! I'm like I have something that could kill me in a, ha- in a in a second. At least drain it. Yeah, you know what I mean. Just take something out of it, right? But no, they fucking. When we uh, when we started the podcast, I had a bad tooth infection mm-hmm. that got really bad, and I remember we were in the middle of a podcast, and I would tell him like, I would have all these pills here because it, my mouth was in so much pain. Yeah, yeah. So I'd be like, we're trying to talk, but like, say me and you, like, whatever, we're talking for a bit. I would actually have to stop talking because yeah. my mouth is now hurting so much that he would act. He would have well, to take over. <laughs> well, the the thing about bad teeth or a sore tooth or an injured tooth is, it's when you stop doing your usual shit is when it kicks in. Like when you go to bed, your heart rate slows down. Yeah. So then your 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 adrenaline and everything brings down your and you're not pumping your heart so much. So then you, that's when you start feeling the throbbing right. of the infection. Right. Right. And usually when it's hot, go. Go to the dentist or, you know, if it's just a pain, two Tylenol, you know, what is it? One Tylenol, and then two hours later, an Advil. Right. And it acts like a T3. Acts like a T3? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it's a pain reliever and a killer. Let me yeah. write that down. So honest, honest to God, though, like, tooth pain, I wouldn't fucking wish on my worst enemy. No, absolutely fuck, not. Because it's like, I don't know what it is. I'll tell you this. Uh, my broken leg? Yeah. Fucking right. I'd take that any day. Over the Any tooth, yeah. fucking day. Give me no drugs. Yeah, for my leg, I would take that any day over a fucking tooth pain. Yeah. Fuck that. Tooth. I don't know. I've it's stayed, such a different I, type of pain. It's because I think it's so close to your central nervous system. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's so got to be to your yeah. fucking head, right? Yeah. Like, and it's like I've woken up from a dead sleep, and it just be like, "Hey, how you doing, motherfucker?" Bang. Yeah. Right, and then I'm up for fucking three days. Yeah, I remember. Uh, and, and I'm stupid, like. Yeah. I say it every time when it comes infected. I'm like, oh, I got to go get it taken care of. I got to go get it. T-. But I don't have the fucking time. I really do, but I don't. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, it's just something that's out of your way. I get it. Trust well, me. It's just like there's more important things right now yeah. for me to make money up for. Yeah. You know, make sure I got a fucking room over my head. Yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. food on the table. That's more important. Yeah. Like uh, I'll deal with going to <laughs> get antibiotics every right. time until I have to get it pulled out. I had to. I remember I was at work. And it, it got so bad that I had to call his mom. His mom is the dental assistant. Yeah. And I called his mom and I'm like, hey, you know, um, my tooth's really bad now. Like it's, uh, I don't know when you can fit me in. Uh, she goes, come right now. Yeah. Okay, I'll fit you in right now. And I was like, bet. I went in there and the doctor was looking at me and she had, I forget, she had one of her tools in her hand. She turns it on the bottom end and she just fucking taps it. Tap. And no! I, was, I was like, yeah. Oh, shit. And I was like, you know, and then all of, you just feel the thump, 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 yeah. thump, 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 and I'm like, holy fuck! And then she goes, so it's infected. I'm like, oh fucking thanks, like yeah. you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. oh fuck that killed. And then I had, you know, they wrote me a. Uh, literally, man, if you ever get a tooth infection, you think it's just an infection. It's not like something serious. Literally, go to your clinic and be like, listen, I went to the dentist. I just I can't get in there. I need something for my tooth. They'll either get a clindamycin, yeah, or uh, probably penicillin, right. Yeah, right. so like, if you're allergic to penicillin, you'll get clindamycin. You know what's funny? I forget what they gave me, but I, when I handed my thing to the pharmacist, she goes, "This for your this for your mouth," and I was like, "Yeah." She goes, Ooh. <laughs> "Well, <laughs> like, it could what, be amoxicillin too. It could be. I don't know what all the drugs were. Yeah, yeah. It could. Well, be I something mean, like that. Uh, clindamycin. Clindamycin stronger. Like it's it's a uh, it's a pretty strong antibiotic. Right. Like I had to take it one time. I had I think I had two uh, infections in my mouth. Because at the time I smoked, so um, I think so. They gave me a first dose, and it didn't work. Oh, so they're no. like, "Fuck, we gotta give you one more, but we can't because it'll fucking ruin your stomach." 
Oh, right? shit. So that second round was heavy. It hurt. I had to eat food with it. Normally, I don't eat food with it. I'm torture on my body that way for some reason. I crave nutrients, but I don't give myself it. It's weird. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so, I mean, I get, I'm getting pretty good at handling my antibiotics, which is scaring me. So I just got to go get it taken care of. Yeah. It's just fucking finding the money and the time to do it because it lays you up. It does. Like, you can't do fuck all for three or four fucking days. Literally, you can't even fucking use a straw, you know, when they pull teeth out. Oh, wow. Oh, because you got a fucking hole in your mouth. Yeah, well, yeah, well, sense. because they call it dry socket. Yeah. Right. And that can get infected, right? Um, well, I did it, I was fine. Oh, because she got her wisdom teeth just pulled. That's why she said Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, I got actually, I've had, the two wisdom teeth are pulled out. I got one, two of them are decayed down here. There's not, there's no nerve in a wisdom tooth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's no nerve in a like wisdom I got, tooth. Uh, because, like, but next molar over, there's nerve there. Oh, yeah, there yeah, is. Yeah. I got my two, like, fangs on the top and bottom. So four teeth ripped out. There's nerves there. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's nerves in there. They actually say that most of the time when you get your fangs done, it's literally, like, centimeters from your sinus cavity. So when they pull it out, usually when you get swollen here, you get a sinus infection. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it's like dealing with two fucking dragons at once. It's fucking brutal. Can't breathe, and your fucking mouth is boom, boom, boom. Funny yeah. story about dry sockets. So a friend of ours got like four tits ripped out. Tits? Like just tits, yeah. I heard tits? Of I <laughs> Took four teeth. Yeah, yeah. And he was, he's like, he's all bandaged up. He's got ice all over his face, and he's like, usually we're smoking pot, like, Every couple minutes, he he did poppers all the time though. Like so, it was just like nicotine and, and weed. Mixed yeah, together. I don't get it, but yeah, he that's all he did. But he's sitting there. First day, he goes, "I don't need it." He's staring at his bong. And goes, I don't need it. I don't <laughs> need it, man. I don't think he lasted a full day. I think, I think he was really <laughs> poppers by the end of the day. He goes, "I don't care if I die." Yeah, they they, they advise you heavy, like don't do that shit. <laughs> don't yeah. smoke. Don't smoke. Don't smoke anything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm right. smoking them both right you need, now. You need a pause? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah can you, Rain, can you pause it, please? Don't uh, look. Is that what you said? Yeah, don't look. Are we good? Oh, don't look. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're up. Yeah, We're yeah, up, yeah, right? Yeah. All right, so. Jake? Am I looking yet or no? Yeah, you can look. Okay. Now. Can I look yet or no? Yeah, yeah everybody yeah, can look yeah. now. Okay. There's Jake. Jake? It's Rain. <laughs> Why does hers feel heavier than Jake's? <laughs> <laughs> this one's dark. Just a little something for saying thank you for having me on the podcast. Oh, absolutely, man. Can I open it? Can yeah, I, yeah, go ahead. Open it up. <laughs> oh, fuck. No way. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Hell, my name's on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck yeah, man. Sick. Keeping oh. TikTok trashy. Oh, that's <laughs> That's sick. Fuck yeah, Tom. Alex is gonna be so jealous. Yeah, Alex is gonna be jealous. <laughs> I'm, gonna fucking, I'm gonna be using this as my water cup. Okay, so just be careful on washing. You might want to hand wash them. Okay. Don't put them in the dishwasher because my oh, sticker's pretty good. The letters are vinyl, so I don't know how it's gonna stick. So I I wash all mine by hand anyway. So okay, good. Yeah. So there you go. Thanks for thanks, thinking Tom. I can afford a dishwasher, man. Sick. Yeah, thanks, Tom. We appreciate that, man. Right on. Right on. Yeah, you might definitely you wash me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got glitter all some over spark- it. Some sparkles got in there. That's all right, though. Water yeah, here, I'll give you some water, man. Yeah, so. I can't see where I'm at. I'm out of coasters. Yeah, it actually, like, it was, uh, her dad actually, like, helped me a lot with the design. Because I was going to do a bunch of shit, like, put your name with a forklift with your name on the fork so you have your TV set up. Yeah, yeah, But I'm like, ah, it's kind of busy. No man, this is perfect. I think this is perfect. Great. This is great. And then, like the way it lined it up, like it, they're not actually exact. So that's what the my selling point is. Right, right. So right. if I do decide to do a merch, everything's gonna be done by hand until you know I get really super big. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, <laughs> you know, but you know what I mean. Like I, I want to do it myself. I don't want to do any. Crap. Well, I mean that like it's it's I, better doing it yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it's better doing it yourself. Yeah, so I mean, the glass is this is a special, uh, special thing. It's not like that's not what I plan on doing. Mm-hmm. Probably more mug style because it's easier to transport. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. It, you know, these would probably break, and I have to send another pair at my own cost, and I don't want to do it or whatever. Right, right, right. So How'd and you... then drinking mugs and shit. So yeah, 
That's uh, that's so sick, man. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Yeah, we, we do no appreciate problem. it. Thank yeah. you very much. I like you guys having me on the show. This is great. I, I thought it was great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, is there anything you'd like to promote or anything before we get out of here? And well, all you that? guys, uh, you guys need a roof, man. Go see Alcan Roofing on Facebook. Mm -hmm. uh, check him out. He's a very good friend of mine. He's a very good businessman. He does very good work. You know what's crazy? I need a roofer right now. Do you? I need someone to give me a like a, a letter saying my roof is not going to collapse. Well, give him a call. Check him out, <laughs> check him out on Facebook. Hell yeah. What about any of your things? What, what, what do you want to promote? You got? Any I just got to check out my Facebook. Or, uh, sorry, my TikTok. And, you know. And your Instagram? You got Instagram. I got yeah. Instagram. It's just pretty much TikTok, too. Yeah. Uh, whatever. I'm not too social media at the moment. I'm putting out little things here and there. So, I um, started a YouTube. So, eventually, I'm going to be started doing hard camera from the truck and then editing slowly. Yeah. Slightly. And then starts throwing it up as is. Right. So, very little editing as long as there's no, like, questionable things. Right, right, right. right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so, it's YouTube, TikTok. It's all It's all, it's all uh, Garbage Man Thomas. All Garbage Man Thomas. All Garbage Man Thomas, TikTok, Instagram, um, and uh, Facebook. Or YouTube. YouTube, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's that's pretty much it. Um, check out Garbage Man Ginger as well. He's a co he's a guy from Nova Scotia. Does the same thing. Nice. Oh, cool. um, so you guys got a whole community going. Yeah, he's got some really cool like animal videos, and he's got some cool ocean landscape videos. He's right. got some pretty cool shit. Smashing cool. To, uh, toilet videos. Nice. <laughs> yeah. So he's got some pretty good. Content. Nothing my kind of content. content. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like he's like fuck you toilet. You know? yeah. 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 He's all in it. Yeah. Yeah. It's good shit. <laughs> So but check it out if you guys check, have the opportunity to check them out. It's pretty good. Yeah. Right on, Tom. I really appreciate you thanks, coming today. Yeah, man. Thanks, thanks for everyone. And uh, honestly, yeah, cheers. cheers. Yeah. Thanks, man. All right, we're out of here. Goodbye, Peace everyone. Peace out. Just, 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 just received in our newspaper.